Hey guys, welcome back. Happy last day of the month and I hope you all have a beautiful March. Um, all right, so the energies are still intense. All right, let me start off by saying that. Um, I feel like there were some really important messages that came through in last week's reading. So if you haven't watched that, um, you might want to watch it. Um, I know it wasn't specific for the karmic situations, but um, a lot of strong messages still come through, all right, in those readings. They're general for divine soulmates regardless, all right, um, especially the messages that were for the divine feminine. And also, I want to thank you guys um, who leave me comments. Like, it really does mean a lot to me. And yeah, so thank you. Um, today's reading is going to be specific for those of you in divine soulmate connections, could be twin flame, where... Usually it's the Divine Masculine who is in a karmic relationship or in a karmic situation, okay? So just take the messages as they make sense for you. I am going to try to keep it a little bit shorter this time. Um, I'm just feeling guided to do that, but we'll see. We'll see. So I'm going to get um, a few cards for the Masculines to start off the reading, get a sense of what they're going through currently. And then we'll take a look at the feminine's energy, messages for the feminines, as well as what to expect in the next week or so. All right, so let's see. What is going on with the masculines currently? All right, we have caring connections. And I am going to get a few more. Ooh, okay, we have victim and bound, and then we have compromise, and we have vibrations. All right, so what the masculines are currently focusing on is the situation that they are in, whether or not it is a caring connection. What does it really mean to be in a caring connection? All right, and because apparently they do not feel like it is a caring connection, all right, where they find themselves right now, which is why we have this bound card and the victim card, right? That's why they're feeling, they're feeling bound in this victim mentality. All right, they're feeling like their hands are tied, um, which is, I know it sounds negative, but it's actually that they are becoming aware of that. And there's this contrast between the caring connection, which they have with their divine feminine, and then this energy here, the victim and the bound. Okay, so there's a contrast. They're seeing the difference um, more so than before. It's just like they're really focusing on that. All right, we also have compromise and vibrations. So this is the masculines actually, I've been saying this, I was saying this in the previous video as well. Um, there's a lot of upgrades that are happening right now. So their vibrations are increasing in frequency. And what I'm getting is that their, their energy is not going to be a vibrational match to the karmic partner or karmic situation's energy anymore, okay? And that's where the compromise comes in. All right, there's going to have to be a compromise. And, and I, I'm saying it's a compromise because having to release something is not an easy thing to do regardless, especially when it's something that... Um, that we have found comfort in, that we have found some kind of safety in. I forgot to put my phone on silent. It's like, all right. Um, yeah, because I realized that for some of you, the masculines have been in a, in a long-term commitment, okay? Some of them could even be married. For others, it's something shorter term, it's more casual, but there's still some kind of a safety in there or some kind of a comfort that keeps them there. And that's what makes it difficult to release. And regardless, there's gonna have to be some kind of a compromise. And that is going to happen eventually because it's just that the vibrations are incompatible all right, with the situation that they find themselves in because they want a caring connection, but the situation that they're in right now is preventing them from having that. It's keeping their hands tied and they're feeling bound. They're feeling like a victim. 
but their vibration is like coming out of that victim. It doesn't match being the victim. So they're going to have to break out of that. All right. So I feel like all of this is taking place as these upgrades are happening. Um, a lot of shifts energetically, um, assistance from the divine in doing this. It's still going to be their choice. They're still free will. All right. But it's kind of like they're just being pushed in this way now and it is going to be their choice, as I said, but it's going to get more and more difficult to stay in this situation for them. Like if they, if they choose to stay longer and longer, it's just going to get harder and harder and they're going to feel just more chaos. Um, till the point, I mean, I just can't imagine them not breaking these ropes, but of course, again, free will. So, um, yeah, that's the main messages that I feel wanted to come through for the masculines for this week. Let me get into the tarot. I won't be pulling as many cards as I usually do. Um, I'm just being guided to get across, like, you know, just a couple of messages that might be just more important. So that was definitely one of them. So let's see. Masculines when it comes to the karmic situation. All right. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords in reverse. We have the Three of Wands. And we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, which is the karmic partner or the karmic situation. All right, so basically, yeah, see, it's like right now. With the Five of Swords being in reverse, I feel like they're... It's an interesting card. I'm actually going to clarify that. I'm actually going to clarify that. But the way it's coming through is that they're still giving some energy to this. Um, if they are people pleasers, I feel like they're continuing a little bit in that energy. Maybe not as much. But I feel like what their, their, their thinking process at the moment which is what is feeling off, but that's okay. It's a process that they need to go through. It's almost as if they're waiting for the um, karmic partner, if they're in a relationship. They're waiting for something from the karmic partner. Um, and it could be a number of things, all right, and different for each of them. Um, they're either waiting for them to consent, they're waiting for the karmic partner to make maybe make a move um, so that they don't have to take responsibility. Um, maybe they're trying to put off the karmic partner. Um, things like that, okay? And if it's a situation, if it's not a partner, just, uh, you know, I'm sure you can come up with different scenarios of what it, what it could be. Um, they're waiting for something from the other person, all right, or from the situation. So let me actually clarify the Five of Swords, which is in reverse. And yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie. What I'm getting here is that that's actually not going to work because it just doesn't work that way. They can't just throw off the responsibility, um, you know, to someone else or to the situation. They're going to have to take responsibility um, for their own selves. But this is one of the lessons. That, yeah, yeah, you can, you know, try to do that. It's, it's, it's not going to work. All right, we have the Hierophant. Okay, yeah, so for some of them, they're still kind of um, thinking along the lines of what should I do? What is the right thing to do? What is um, socially acceptable? What have I been taught? that is the right thing to do. Okay, this is all about the, the core belief systems. And I feel like that is a little bit what still needs to be tweaked, which I feel will happen eventually with this, um, with the vibrations, right, being raised. But because of that, because they keep thinking of what is it that is socially right or morally right, but they're thinking along the lines of social conditioning and social programming rather than thinking from an authentic place from within them. Um, so because of that, they're just kind of waiting for for the karmic partner to do something. Maybe some of them are waiting for the karmic partner to do something really bad so that they can justify, um, you know, having a fallout or or whatever. 
I feel like this is just a small phase actually that they're going to be going through. I don't feel like it's going to, it's something that they're, I feel like this, for a lot of them, this is something that they have done before. It's nothing new, okay? And they were past this and because like they just keep finding ways to go around in circles sometimes, it's like, yeah, let me try this again. Maybe this will work. And the reason why is because they really want to get out of that bound victim situation because they want to move towards the caring connection. They're just going about it in the wrong way and that's why that Five of Swords is in reverse. Let me clarify the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Let's see if we get any information on that. We have the Ace of Pentacles which also showed up in reverse. Yeah, so they're waiting for, <laughs> definitely waiting for the karmic partner to do something that might be um, untrustful or something that will be um, practically very, very, you know, justifiable for them to make a move. They're waiting for something tangible from the, from the karmic partner. Again, it's going to be different for, for each of them. So this is just what's happening like now or this week, okay? Time is relevant, but around this this time period. So you might be picking up on something like that, but like I said, it's not going to work. And we will also see the, what is coming up. This is just a small little like detail. Let's get some cards to see the masculine's energy towards their feminine. Nine of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so here's the challenge um, for them. What they see to be challenging and why they have their guard up, I do feel like they might be having their guard up in a way when it comes to, to their feminine. So, for example, if you, if you are in communication, you might be feeling them. Um, you might be feeling some tension from their side, some resistance, or just some like guarding of their guarding of their own energy, even of their emotions. All right. Um, if you're not in contact, then yeah, it's the same thing. You you just not in contact in order to be able to see it on on the physical level. The thing is, is that they're seeing the practical aspect with their feminine as something very difficult right now, right? That's why we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. It, we have the King of Cups upright though, so there's this contrast between how they feel and what they feel like they have in the material world with the feminine. And it's, it's like their emotions here with the King of Cups, they're so deep, they're feeling their emotions very, very intensely right now, okay? Which goes very much along with that Caring Connections card, okay? So they're feeling the love, they're feeling just, I feel all of their emotions are amplified right now when it comes to their Divine Feminine. They're very, very, very strong. Okay, so you might be getting little hints of that if you are in semi-contact or even in no contact. If you are in contact, I don't know, some of them might be expressing this fully um, and others might be holding them back. I'm getting here for the most part that they're holding a lot of this back from you. And the reason is because they're thinking like, all right, I feel this so strongly about this person, yet I'm not doing anything in the 3D. I don't have this Ten of Pentacles and I'm not moving towards that. Well, I mean, they, they are and they're not. Um, overall, in the overview, they are moving in that direction towards union, okay? But um, at the moment, while they're waiting for the karmic partner to do something, they're being a little bit passive, right? They're not actually taking the initiative at the moment. So because of that, they're not moving towards that having that um, commitment with you right now okay in that sense but they feel the emotions so to them it's like how can i express these emotions when i'm not doing anything that would be a little messed up like that would be contradictory like i can't say one thing express this and then not take action on it it's like it almost as if that's embarrassing you know um 
they don't want to build up the expectation. So, yeah, let me, let me clarify. Yeah, the Four of Wands um, in reverse because, and it doesn't even matter if they're in reverse, but basically, yeah, clarifiers to me, it doesn't really matter if they're in reverse. I'm just calling them out for those of you that do um, take interest in that. Again, they're not feeling that stability in the 3D. They're not feeling like they're actually, like they haven't clicked on that path of, okay, I am removing myself from this karmic situation and I am moving towards my feminine. So because of that, they have to feel, they have to guard themselves. They, they're guarding their, their feelings and showing a little bit of resistance. And really, it's not even resistance to you, it's to their own self. Let me see the cups. It's a, it's been a tough week. I feel like this is what has been going on. Actually, this isn't like, what is coming up okay guys don't don't get confused this is not the the future energy although yes time is relevant but i feel like this is what has been happening okay for a lot of them so we have the three of swords yeah you know it's causing them a lot of pain it's causing them a lot of pain and heartbreak having these intense emotions that they are not able to fully express so it's very intense for them Let's get one more here. The world. I'm telling you, I feel like their emotions for you right now, they are so amplified, it's not even funny. Having the world card here, it's kind of like the emotions have reached have reached their peak. It's like, they, they, like there's just no more denial. There's no more trying to deny it. There's no more trying to suppress it. It's like they're coming into this place of acceptance of how they feel. And they're not expressing it because, well, because their 3D life is showing something different. All right, let's um, let's get a few cards for the for the feminines, and then we'll look at what is coming up for this week, the next week, maybe just the near future. All right, so for the femmes. too many so let's do this again we have the magician in the mirror all right let me just get a few more and we'll see what this is about Pride and ego, offer and separation. Okay. Interesting the way these fell out. All right, so here's the thing with the feminines, okay? it's a, I, I feel like the message is a little bit complicated, but basically, and I feel like actually, this is for one group of divine feminines, okay? I might... I might get a message for another group of you as well, but this is, I feel like it's specifically for a particular group. For this group, it's like the feminine, you are, it's like you're looking at yourself in the mirror. And it's almost like you are a little bit confused by your own self. And what do I mean by that? It's kind of like, because, this is actually a good thing, all right? It's a good thing because you you are reaching this point of acceptance, of accepting and really just releasing the situation to the universe. And that is a new feeling for you. It's new and it's foreign. And because it's foreign and familiar, it's, it can be a little bit uncomfortable. 
So where does all of this tie in? This ties in because what you're realizing is that because you've let go or you're in the process of letting go, actually, it's like you've let go, but you're trying to accept the fact that you've let go because it's uncomfortable, because it's unfamiliar, and because, yeah, you know, you this was something you really wanted, you had really hoped for, and it doesn't mean it's not going to happen, actually. Um, this is just a part of what you need to go through. And it's actually because your vibration is also being raised and you're being upgraded, and so you're feeling these new feelings, all right? But what you're realizing maybe even subconsciously, is that the part of you that is still holding on to this, it's just ego. It's kind of like because it was something I wanted and, and I didn't get it. Or it could be ego in any other way, all right? And it always has been ego, but it was also emotional attachment, whereas now that part is gone and it's like it's just the ego. I hope you guys can understand what I'm trying to say because if we're gonna get if we get really philosophical about it like I would have to be talking for like <laughs> an hour just on this one topic all right so just just try to take the message if it resonates with you um, there's just an ego still left and it's it's I feel like it's like a thin layer that's really the only thing that's making you feel really uncomfortable about accepting the separation of this offer. Okay, I know that doesn't make sense, separation of the offer, but you, you guys get what I'm saying. The, the heartbreak that was in the past, the, uh, accepting the separation that you are in and the fact that this offer might not come through. Okay, so uh, one sec, let me put those up there. So I hope that made sense. I hope it, I, I didn't get it out too complicated. Um, it's just really trying to accept the fact that you feel, you're feeling okay, more and more okay with this not happening. Almost to the point of, well, like, would I even want it now? Like, you know, and it's like, you're like, man, you know, I, I kind of do want to want it, but I don't. Like, it's... Because it's almost like it always was that the feminines, for a while, they would say, you know, I wish I didn't want this. And now it's almost like that's turning. So I hope that makes sense. And again, it's not, it's not going to resonate for all of you. It's just one specific, one specific group. And it's actually um, a very positive step. And for others of you, you, you may feel that maybe in the upcoming weeks, um, maybe you won't because everybody's path is different and the way that they process things um, is different. But I feel like that was just an important message to get out for those of you feeling that way so that you don't think you're going crazy. Um, just know that it's, that it's natural. Yeah, look at that, the Wheel of Fortune, very first card out. There's a shift in you. There's a huge shift in the feminine. Ooh, and justice. That shift is for the better. And the Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay, wow. If this resonated with you, what I just talked about, you're definitely on the right path. You're on the, on the right path because you are releasing a huge burden off of you in your life and that's going to help you to raise your vibration as well. And it's helping you to move forward and it's helping to shift things, even within the connection. But if you're at this point, you, you, it doesn't really matter to you as much. It does and it doesn't uh, because you're more focused on yourself and you just want to be okay with everything and you just want to accept what you're feeling and feel begin to feel a little bit more comfortable with these new feelings that you're having or these new perspectives that you're having. I mean, wow, Wheel of Fortune and Justice, that's like you are shifting for the better. You are really standing in your power here. A lot of, you're, you're moving towards balance and towards the release of difficulties. I feel like the most difficult part is over for you. Anything else? All right, we 
have the Ten of Cups in reverse, we have the Empress, and we have the Six of Pentacles. Which was actually sideways, but um, we'll see. Alright, so... <laughs> Did I not say you're standing in your power? Seriously, you are so on the right path here, it's, it's, it's crazy. Alright, with the Empress being right under justice. You are fully embodying your power. And what does this mean? The fact that we have the Ten of Cups in reverse because you are okay, you are becoming more and more okay and accepting more and more the, the detachment. And feeling okay even if you don't have this Ten of Cups with the masculine. This is what is going to bring you into balance, all right, with the Six of Pentacles. Because you you know what you deserve. First of all, we have two cards of balance. All right, so you're moving in that direction. It might feel very shaky right now, and that's because there's always a lot of shakiness before you get to the stable, smooth part of the road. All right, that's how you balance out, because it's like all the imbalances or all the... Um, I don't know, residue or all the icky stuff, it's being shaken out of you. Like, if you can imagine it like that. And it's like you're just being um, shook and shook until all of that comes out and then you're just balanced and everything is falls into place and, and everything's just going to feel a lot smoother. You don't need to be shaken anymore. This is also about you knowing what you deserve and the way things have been at the moment, like you don't want that and you're fully embodying that energy of not wanting less than you deserve. You know your worth. That's why we have justice and that's why we have the Empress and the Six of Pentacles. You don't deserve to have a Ten of Cups in reverse and that's all that this situation has been offering you. I mean, that's just, you know, the truth, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this video. Um, let's see where this is headed and what is coming up in the next week or so. Again, I mean, because I don't mean to sound negative. I just, I don't want to sugarcoat and just keep saying, you know, um, giving hope like every week because there's no point in that, right? That's not going to be helpful. So, and I do think that that's why, um, you know, a lot of people, or some people choose not to watch my videos anymore, and that's okay. Because I'd rather be, I'd rather be saying the truth of what I see at least. Alright, it doesn't have to resonate with all of you. Um, let's see. Ooh, look at that. Justice for the masculines. And this is in, in regards, actually, to, to the um, karmic situation, all right? So they're moving in the right path as well, which is what I was saying before, that even though right now, like, they're doing this little, like, stalling thing of, you know, waiting for the um, karmic partner to, I don't know, to mess up or, or to give them some kind of a um, justification or throwing the responsibility on them, it doesn't matter. They're still moving in the right direction here. All right, they're balancing themselves out too. I'm almost getting, you know, maybe the next one I will also take a look at the um, at the karmic energy, or maybe just the energy within the karmic relationship, just to get anything that might be insightful for you. Because I'm getting some strange. Um, I'm getting a feeling. Almost contemplating talking about it, but I, I won't. I'll save it. All right, so we have Justice and the Four of Swords together. So, yeah, there's a lot of whatever this path that they're on, which is the right one. As I said before, they're moving in the right direction. They're moving towards balance. Okay. It, if we take it literally, of course, it could also be divorce as like where this is ultimately heading. Okay. For those that are married, whatever the case is there, it's one of healing. Okay. This energy, 
even what they're going through now, even what they're doing right now, it's like they need to go through that. There's a reason for that. And, okay, so here's part of what I wanted to say before um, that I said I will say. I feel like a big part of this, of what they're doing, waiting for the karmic partner to, to make a move or whatever, um, it's actually for the karmic partner. It's, it's actually for a lesson that the karmic partner has to learn. And it's like the masculine is just playing a supportive role um, for, the, for the karmic partner all right, on a soul level. There's something in this for the karmic par partner to, to learn or to grow, to gain this experience. There's something that the karmic partner is learning about their own self. All right, don't forget, they're people too. <laughs> all right, they have their own lessons. And this is ultimately leading to a healing, okay? So I'm just gonna leave that at that because I feel like that is what is what is the most important, to know where this is heading and to know that even though that sounded maybe a little bit discouraging, that no, actually it's not. Justice and the Four of Swords. Yeah, nice how I thought this video was going to be shorter, right? <laughs> All right. All right, so let's see. Masculines towards their feminine. All right, we have the Page of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse and then Judgment also in reverse. All right. Okay, so coming up, yeah, I feel like they're still holding back on their emotions. They're still feeling them very, very strongly here, okay, with the Page of Cups. I mean, first of all, let me just mention that we have, like, pretty much the whole family of cups here. The King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Page of Cups is here, okay? So, and the King of Cups is upright. As I said, they're, they're feeling their emotions very, very intensely, they're feeling like, coming up, they're really going to want to express them. And they might express them. Okay, for some of you, they might you might actually see them expressing their emotions um, a little bit more so than before. Some of them might actually apologize for something or just more like speaking from the heart. You will get that. However, they're still really holding back. Okay, with the Queen of Cups being in reverse, I feel like this is, and Judgment being in reverse, this is them holding back their truth. Like how they really feel is still going to be held back, which is basically what I was saying before, right? And it's just being, um, yeah, validated here and clarified that that's kind of continuing on within the next week. But know that whatever it is that they tell you, and because this is a page that is upright, I feel like it's just going to be little spurts of how they feel, okay, for those of you that are in contact or maybe you'll get, pick this up on an energetic level or through social media if, if you're in no contact, okay? It'll be like small hints of, of feeling that affection or that emotional expression, okay, towards you in some way. It's going to be small, but um, know that behind that, what's hiding is this really, really strong emotions all right they're just not at a place where they can express them fully right now okay with judgment being in reverse as well they're not showing you the truth so i'm actually going to clarify that because yeah why is this Let's see. I'm gonna press in reverse. the chariot which is actually in reverse. Um, I did have another two pop out. I don't know if I need to take them, but it is, for those of you who want to know, the Page of Pentacles in reverse and the Four of Swords in reverse. All right, so basically, again, I feel like with the Chariot being in reverse, especially, they're not expressing their feelings. It's really what I said before. It's the same thing, all right? It's the same thing because they're not coming forward. Because they haven't taken that action towards you yet. That's why. It would be contradictory. Um, I feel like for a lot of them, they've already expressed to you how they feel. For some of you, maybe not, okay, if you're not in if you're not in contact. But either way, it's still the same thing. They don't want to 
express something before they've until they have the actions to back up what they're saying is what I'm getting here, okay? Especially also with the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Swords also in reverse. They don't want to just give you like little bits of, you know, energy when it's not completely healed, when it's not, things are not ready yet. Let's see judgment. Hangs man in reverse. Yep, that's the thing. Once they untie themselves, because they know that that's the truth. Their truth is that they're they are, they're still the hanged man. All right, because if we were to flip these both over, that that would be their truth. And right now, they don't want to be hanging. They're not going to want to be hanging. All of this, I feel like actually, because they cannot express their emotions, they're so focused on that caring connection. And because they, they want to express their emotions, but they have to hold back, that is actually another push that they're getting to untie themselves, to unbound themselves from this. So that's what's coming up. Um, their emotions are really strong. <laughs> and that's going to be a big motivator for them. Because it's going to get to the point where they can't wait for the karmic to do something about it. If their emotions are just going to like blow up. So let's see for the feminines and final messages or anything we're coming up we have the emperor in reverse the queen of cups upright for you and the seven of swords all right yeah so this is exactly it you are finding that self-love okay with the queen of cups you're feeling your feelings as well but here's the thing you're feeling okay you're following your own intuition you're feeling your own emotional stability all right this is coming up even if the masculine is still the emperor in reverse even if the masculine is not standing in their power yet even if the masculine has not taken action yet you are you are really coming to accept that a place of acceptance and this acceptance like like i said it's uncomfortable okay it's it's making you kind of like the seven of swords feeling like okay what's going on i feel like so this is still continuing on all right in the next week or so but i feel like you're going to be feeling better and better about it it's almost going to feel like you're deceiving your own self because it's it's hard to really you know um embody new new feelings and these new vibrations so that's why we have the seven of swords so just keep in mind that's the message here keep in mind that that's natural okay don't don't think that there's something wrong with you or that um I don't know <laughs> that that you're that you're doing something wrong okay you're not you're not you're shifting towards justice so you keep doing you and the masculines yeah they're feeling these emotions so strongly that you know eventually some they're they just cannot wait for the um for the karmic partner anymore all right, and they're on the right path too. They have justice and you have justice. It's just that you have justice in your current energy, whereas they have justice in the future energy. And for those of you, if you feel like you weren't really in this group of feminines, um, there could still be though an aspect of this that resonates with you on, on some level, okay? So just take what resonates. There's definitely something in there, I feel, for you, okay? If you're feeling any kind of a shift, it's most likely going to be in the right direction here. All right, so let's get our All right, yeah, I wanted to keep this short. <laughs> but that didn't happen. All right, let's see. final messages if this resonated. Hey, 
great. We have time to go. Wow. All right. I feel like th that's actually for the both of you. That's for you as well as the masculine. Um, it is time to go. It's time for things to shift. You are going, you are moving on, right? You are detaching. It doesn't matter if you're in contact. You could be in contact and still be detaching, okay? So don't don't think that I mean, you know, um, that you should, I don't know, do something you don't, you're not feeling guided to do. But it's just time to go for the masculines as well. And like I said, they're being pushed in that direction. It's time for shifts, basically. So yeah, those are the messages. That's what I got for you guys. Um, give me a like if this made sense for you and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.